Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I have a very exciting video because I did try out three brand new products from L'Oreal, which is the Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, the Infallible Concealer, and this is actually just came out. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I decided to try all these base products out just because they're brand new, I've been hearing so much hype with both of these products specifically, so I definitely wanted to test it out myself. It is what I'm wearing right now, and we did do a test wear. I showed you guys all the products on my face with a sponge, with a brush, all the claims, and all that jazz. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video because I really enjoyed making it for you guys. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Today's post notification shout out goes to Joyce Smith. Joyce, thank you so much for having your post notifications on. I really appreciate it when you guys do this. I love you very much and thank you just so much for supporting me and my channel. And if you want to be my next post notification shout out, all you have to do is turn them on and just comment when you are done. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so let's... I can never say let's get started. Let's get started. So I have my goodies right here. I did go to Ulta and they were having a buy to get one free for L'Oreal. So it's like perfect. So like I said in the intro, I do have the brand new L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I also have the matching concealer. And then I also picked up this from like their new line. I believe it's like one of their, their new Lumi line. This is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Do Mist. So we'll be trying all of this out. I will be doing a full face of makeup and then I'm actually getting ready to go to the rodeo tonight. Oh my god. Yes, I'm Texan. Um, and I'm actually going to go see Camila Cabello perform there, but I will be out all night. So what I was thinking is um, I'm going to do a check-in when I get back, but I figured we could do a little test wear since I am going to be out. What I wanted to do was just go in with each product, read you the claims, and then just kind of see how it works. So really quickly, I do want to spray this on my face because even though it is a dew setting spray, apparently you can also use it to prime and hydrate. Okay, I don't see any like glitter or anything like that on my skin. So we're off to a good start. Like I said, I will go more into it once we actually set the face. So first, let's just start out with the foundation. Again, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh foundation. And I am using the shade 460, which to be honest, I'm not sure if this is gonna work out for me or not. It is 460 golden beige. Um, I really wanted to find a little bit more of a warmer shade that wasn't so dark. So this does come in a glass bottle and it is a pump. And let's see, this does have one fluid ounce, which is just, you know, the average. So I'm in the Ulta website and it does have four and a half stars. So apparently this is a long wear foundation with breathable skin technology. It is a 24 hour foundation that provides medium to full coverage that lasts all day and it allows the skin to breathe. The formula's three oil absorbers resist sweat, water, and transfer. The ultra thin liquid goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion. Apparently the color stays true even when it's blended, so it shouldn't be oxidizing. There is no SPF in this, so you don't get any sun coverage, but it shouldn't flash back because of that. And this comes in 30 different shades. I'm gonna do half of my face with a sponge, half with a brush, and kind of see how it goes. So let's do one pump and one pump. So I did swatch it on my hand and I noticed how liquidy it is. So this is what it looks like. So you guys can see it's like pretty runny. Oh my God, this might be my perfect shade. Guys, I was at Ulta for like an hour, just like trying to decide what shade I should be. So first let's go in with a brush. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my go-to foundation brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH03, and it's just like a little buffer brush. Okay, so this is one layer with a brush, and this is nothing. 
I feel like on camera it actually looks pretty perfect with my skin, but in person it is leaning a little bit pink. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my my neck is just more yellow. This is definitely a little bit pink, which I don't know why because this is the golden beige. It's supposed to be like the the more warm tone of the three like medium tones but so what i'm going to do is do the other side with a sponge and then let's talk about the coverage so i'm going to do the exact same thing and do one pump on the other side and i'm going to be using my elf beauty sponge it's like my favorite sponge at the moment i do have a couple breakouts right now um my skin isn't doing the best they're they're hormonal breakouts so so we'll definitely be able to test the coverage I don't know if I actually have a preference. I think it looks good regardless. But yeah, this is not my undertone. Again, golden beige does lean a little pink. So far, I actually am liking the foundation. Right now, I do have a medium coverage. And it definitely looks dewy, as you guys can see. Mm, but it doesn't look cakey at all like this is definitely like a really really thin consistency I actually really like that. I don't like super heavy foundation I actually don't like wearing foundation very often because of that So if this is gonna be like a light feel then I might start wearing it more my pores are definitely Emphasized because this is like more of a dewy foundation, but like I said on the skin it doesn't look It just doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna do like half a pump and I'm going to put some on my nose and a little bit like on little areas that I want to cover up more. I don't know if you guys can tell, but when it's fresh, it looks a lot more yellow. But once it blends out, it goes pink. So I definitely don't think it's oxidizing because it's not getting darker, but I feel like, I, like, I feel like it's just the tone is getting pinker. So that's kind of annoying. Okay, so it's definitely buildable for sure. But so far it's looking good. I definitely, you know, can't say too much until I do set it and see how the rest of my makeup looks. Let's talk about this guy. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer Concealer. And it does have a big doe foot applicator, almost like a tart shaped tape. So this also has four and a half stars. This is a more than concealer, full on coverage, full wear, waterproof, transfer resistant, fade resistant, cover, contour, and shape your face with this. Covers imperfections, minimizes redness, and scars. They have 21 different shades of this concealer. It's I just find it funny that they made this like fresh wear foundation, but this like full coverage concealer. But actually that's what I like. I don't like super cakey foundation, but I like me a good concealer. So I ended up getting the shade 365 cashew but to be honest I really wanted to get cashmere it's more it's a little bit lighter but then they put cashmere was sold out because I feel like a lot of people are that shade and the next one was vanilla and that was like way too light for me so this might be like the same color as my foundation but let's just test out the coverage because either way I don't like like a really bright under eye so I won't mind so I'm just gonna apply the concealer as I would with any other concealer. So as you guys can see, it is yellow tone, which I'm happy about. This actually is a very similar shade to my um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer. The consistency is actually not that thick. I actually can see a little bit of my skin through it while I'm applying it. I am putting it also as eye primer because I just like doing that and then around the nose. All right, so we are blended out and I feel like this gave me almost full coverage. I can still see a little bit under my eyes, but it actually looks really pretty. I feel like this blended out really, really nicely. So I am gonna layer just a little bit more in the areas that I need it more to see if we can build up that coverage. But the formula so far is actually really pretty. I wish I had a lighter shade, but I don't mind. It's, I would rather do this than have like too light of a shade because sometimes 
This is a little tip. Sometimes when you're using concealer that's way too light for you, it could actually make your under eyes look darker, believe it or not. So I feel like we have the full coverage that we wanted. I think it looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this and set the rest of my face. I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and it'll come right back and tell you guys what I think. Okay, so I'm back and I just wanted to say that I definitely forgot to tell you guys that this is a matte formula. So I did set under my eyes on my smile lines and a little bit around the face and my skin actually looks really really good i will say under the eyes it does look a little bit dry i did have my skincare on as well as my eye cream so you know if you have more oily skin you might like this a little bit more but it's definitely not like a deal breaker for me i definitely have to see how it wears um i look a little bit crazy right now so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is do the rest of my makeup and i will come back and we can test out this dewy mist and then like i said i can do a wear test for you guys so i will be right back Okay guys, so I am back and if you're wondering what makeup I am wearing, I will put it all down below. So now that I have my face on, my makeup, my face makeup on, um, I do have to say everything went on perfectly fine, nothing was patchy. My skin looks really, really nice. I made the shade work, as you guys can see, I actually put some like bronzer down my neck to kind of like blend everything in. Now that everything's on, the shade doesn't actually look very bad. Um, I do wish it was a little bit warmer, but it's like, I don't think I need to go purchase another one. Everything looks, like I said, pretty good. I do have a little bit of dryness around my mouth, but other than that, the concealer looks good. Like I said, um, it is a little bit drying, but the coverage is there and it's not very cakey. It's just, you know, a matte formula. I really... I'm I'm really liking the foundation. Like it looks really good right now. As of now, like I would recommend it to you guys, but I definitely want to see how it wears. So for the final touches, let's actually use our little setting spray. So let me actually look it up. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. So this also has four and a half stars, but this only has four reviews, which um, I understand why, because this is literally brand, brand new. So this says that this sets and refresh makeup for a natural healthy glow in just one spritz. You can spray it on bare skin for a hydrating, soothing formula that preps and wakes up the skin. Or you can finish off your makeup by locking it with a natural dewy glow that lasts. This is also a midday pick me up to revive complexion and refresh makeup. This has coconut water, brightening vitamin C that boosts healthy hydration. To activate, just shake it ideal for all skin types. So this is cool, it has coconut water and vitamin C. So I definitely will be spraying this on my bare skin because vitamin C helps brighten your skin and of course coconut just really hydrates the skin. The sprayer isn't the best, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drench my skin the same way that I would with any other setting spray. The sprayer is really, really, really fine which is really nice, but it doesn't deposit a lot of product. That's why I'm using so much. Wow. Okay. I look really dewy, but really healthy. Okay, so this definitely made me look super dewy. I don't see any glitter whatsoever, not even in the bottle, which I was kind of afraid of. There's like actually like no shimmer. It really is just like a dewy spritz. So that's really nice. It definitely, I feel like it brought my skin back to life. Like I know that's what setting sprays do, but it just makes me look a lot healthier. I do have normal to dry skin, so I don't know how this is gonna work for oily skin. Um, if I feel like if I had oily skin, I probably wouldn't be using this, but on my skin right now, it looks really nice, really healthy. I really like it. The foundation was $14.99. Oh. The concealer was $12.99, and then the little dewy spray was $14.99. So like I said, I will be wearing all these products. It is currently 3 o'clock right now. I feel like I'll probably be home by like 11, so I feel like we'll get a good 8-hour wear. I mean, it's already been an hour since I applied the foundation itself. But yeah, so far everything looks really really nice and i have really high hopes for this so i will see you guys in a couple of hours hey guys so i'm officially the worst youtuber 
ever because I actually will, well, let me, let me explain. When I came home from the rodeo around like 11.30, I, I did end up filming like my final reaction to the foundation, but I think I turned off the camera wrong or I did something wrong, but the footage was just corrupted and it's just like, I can't use it. So I don't know what to do now. So I just decided to make this little outro and just tell you guys that the foundation, the concealer, everything looked beautiful at the end of the night. Like it's definitely, gonna be one of my favorite products. I think I like the foundation more than the concealer. The concealer didn't have that like wham, like pow, wham pow uh, coverage that I wanted, but it did have like decent coverage and it was really, really easy to blend out. So if you're looking for something like that, that's definitely a good one. I will keep using it though, and by the end of the month, by my March favorites, I will let you guys know. And also the Dewy Mist, I do have it on my skin right now. I don't have any foundation on or anything, and I did notice just how like beautiful and dewy it makes my skin look. That's definitely gonna be one of my staples from now on. So I definitely approve of the foundation, of the concealer. Uh, I didn't look dry or oily. I'm sure I didn't look dry because of that dewy mist. So I definitely love it, you guys. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.